All right, crew, we're back. Um, if you've been following along, uh, so far this year I got a PVS-14 from Brownells, built out a helmet, and I've been playing around with that, doing some night vision um, shooting. Not too much shooting, but a lot of playing around with night vision until recently. Now I got the auto earmuffs, uh, which I also got off of Brownells, and I was able to actually go out and shoot passively with my EOTech EXPS-3 while camping a couple weeks back. It was a blast. Um, but ultimately, when you jump into the night vision game, uh, the you always want to snag up an IR laser, and I finally was able to do that. So I snagged up a Steiner uh, D-Ball A3. Uh, I was debating between that and the D2. The D2 to me seemed more purpose-driven. Uh, it has a lot brighter illuminator, uh, which would be handy, um, but the, the unit is a lot bigger. It's four ounces heavier, um, and I... I didn't particularly want that on the, the front end of my gun when I'm already running a suppressor out there on the end. It would get a little unwieldy. So what I went with was the D-Ball A3, as I said. So it's the first time unboxing it. So let's see what we've got in here. We got our normal warning labels. We got our, oh, what do we got, covers here? Oh, optical pattern uh, generators. So I think that was I think that's for our illuminator. Uh, being this is my first IR device, we're gonna have a little playing around with and things to learn here. Um, we have a couple pressure switches it looks like in here. We have one with a, a single connector, and then there's a second one down there with a two. It does have the uh, it has a lithium and energizer lithium battery uh, CR one two three. Um, I, from what I read, I believe the runtime with these is about three hours uh, before you kill the battery. So, <clears throat> but here it is. Size of that is not bad at all. I am pretty excited to get this thing out there and do a little bit more night vision content. Uh, looks like our battery goes in up front. Should be our laser on the left and illuminator. I'm sorry, illuminator over here. And our laser, I believe, on the right here. All of our adjustment up top. I am thinking about if you've seen the leaf um, adapters which you can hook a iron sight on the top. Considering doing that, we do have our switches back, or switch back here, and then all of our ports to hook in the um, pressure switches. So, extremely excited about this. Uh, this is kind of the, the last piece to the puzzle with the night vision. Uh, the only additional thing that I potentially will add um, would be um, maybe a riser for my optic. Uh, but I really want to try this as it is before I throw a, a riser on there. Um, and we will see, see how that goes. I, I did see Cloud at one point had posted a a picture where I think it's fair to say that the D-ball took up about a third of the window of an EOTAC. So I'm hoping that's not the case because uh, that does that's a fair amount. If it is that, then I will be getting the riser. Um, otherwise, yeah, I might just roll with it as it is if it sits a little bit lower than that. But we will find out here shortly. Uh, hoping to get you guys a little bit more night vision content. I know a while ago I posted the rugged uh, flash hider cap uh, and I haven't followed up from that. That is on the agenda here hopefully in two weeks uh, trying to get caught up from a bunch of projects and things and get back on track and and cover a little bit more um, of the stuff that I've introduced in the unboxings as well as the uh, the Mantis Blackbeard X. I've been playing with that thing. It is a blast um, but hoping to give you a little bit more overview of the diagnostics of it and um, how it runs, but definitely check them out. That that thing is uh, extremely fun. Uh, but I will catch you guys later. Run suppressed. Stay blessed.